Welcome to another dose of daily hope and word and prayer from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm David Palmquist. As I begin, remember to hit the like button or subscribe to our channel so more people have a chance to see our daily hopes. And you're welcome to make public comments in the comment line, um, comment line below. So why do we always confess our sins? Lent is the season that we kind of talk about and emphasize repentance and confessing our sins more than any other time of the year. So it may feel like a season of, of sadness. And most of us probably like to think more positive thoughts and, and be surrounded by positive people. When you come to church, perhaps you've wondered why we often confess our sins in worship. Doesn't it seem too negative to start a service off on a downer? And maybe it is really tough to have the whole season of Lent talk about it so much. Luke 7, 37 and 38 speaks of a worship service that began this way. A woman who lived a sinful life learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. She began to wet his feet with her tears, then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and poured perfume on them. Now, this was not a downer. These were good tears. These were cleansing tears. The woman realized deeper than most just how awful her life had been when lined up with what God requires. She also realized the only one who could wash away her sin and dry her tears was Jesus. Jesus said in response, Therefore I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, as her great love has shown, but whoever has been forgiven little, loves little. Luke 7, 47. So, why confess your sins? Because these are good tears that help you understand the depth of the forgiveness that Jesus won for you on the cross, and that is Lent. When you understand the depth of where you were, you can truly appreciate the height to which Jesus' forgiveness has taken you. You and I are his children, citizens of heaven, priceless in his eyes. We can love much now because we understand how much we have been loved. Join me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your blessings and your message of love through Jesus. Help us be contrite and help us repent, confess our sins constantly to show you that you do love us and we believe it. Help us then to love you all the more and share that love with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thanks for joining us today for Daily Hope from God's Word. And always remember what God told Israel. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine.